What is an OBL? How does it compare to a hospital? OBL stands for office-based lab. It's basically an outpatient physician office with a procedure suite uh, attached to it where the procedures are done. It's distinct, obviously, from the hospital. The hospital's bigger, larger institution offers multiple different services, whereas our OBLs, in the context of PAD specialists, we focus on PAD, peripheral tail disease, evaluation, diagnosis, and uh, minimally invasive image-guided treat, uh, image treatment. So the office-based lab is a smaller outpatient facility, and the hospital is a large healthcare facility, as you're all familiar with, offer very high-end services across many specialties, etc. What are some more differences? In the context of PAD revascularization, what are the differences between the two? Well, the hospital is definitely the best setting for certain types of care. What do I mean? Uh, trauma care, emergency care. Nothing beats hospital emergency rooms and emergency departments and emergency services in the 21st century. Throughout all of humanity, we never had such excellent trauma and emergency care that the hospitals offer. So they do that really well. Really high-end care, surgical or medical, sort of academic, experimental, you know, the separation of Siamese twins sort of thing, large brain tumor operations, things like that. Definitely the hospital setting, no doubt about it. That being said, for most non-urgent, non-high-risk medical services and procedures, the outpatient setting in the private sector is superior. So for example, for PAD revascularization, non-urgent and in not high-risk patients, I talked about that in another video, if a patient's high-risk, morbid obesity, unstable cardiopulmonary conditions, the patient's PAD procedure should be done in the hospital. However, 99% of patients with PAD do not have those high-risk and comorbidities. We feel strongly that they're better done in the OBL setting, like we have, for example. Why? Number one, logistics, right? Logistics are simple. Easy parking, easy navigating, um, you know, fewer people, so really a better concierge-like sort of customer service experience. Short wait times, we've all experienced this. You have to get an appointment with a hospital-based physician or hospital department. It could take weeks for you to get an appointment. And then when you get there, you can wait a long time in the waiting room. Neither one of these wait times are long with us. We can accommodate patients generally within a few days. Uh, and wait times in the facility won't be long either. Uh, in addition, in the sort of COVID pandemic era that I'm creating this video in, at least theoretically, the risk of COVID transmission is lower in the outpatient private sector OBL setting. The hospital does have COVID patients in their ICUs. Not to say that they're not taking their own precautions, so I don't know what the relative risk for that is, but at least in theory, I would think the outpatient uh, private sector OBL setting would be lower risk for COVID transmission. So these are logistical benefits. Uh, you'll just have a better experience overall. Number two, we specialize, right? I mentioned earlier, hospitals are excellent generalists. They do all sorts of specialties, emergency care, surgery, medicine, across different specialties. That's great, kudos. And again, they do a valuable service to society. However, we specialize. We specialize in only PAD day in and day out. Our proceduralists, our clinical support staff, our administrative support staff, our management team, all we do and all we know, and I believe we do it well, is PAD. So in general, all other factors equal, the specialists will be able to do it a bit better than the generalists. So I believe that's another advantage of us as PAD specialists in our OBL setting, we specialize. Finally, cost. Cost isn't talked about a lot in healthcare, but I believe it should be. Uh, this is an area of value-based medicine, right? The disease uh, presence, prevalence in, in patients, chronic diseases, continues to increase in America. Obesity, diabetes, uh, atherosclerotic occlusive disease, including PAD, CAD, stroke, these are all on the upswing. Yet, the healthcare system and the costs associated with it are under tremendous pressure to somehow bring those down. These are tough times, so value-based care is the answer. We have to figure out how to do things at the same or higher quality at lower cost. I believe that's what we do at PAD specialists in our OBLs. The costs, all of the factors equal, of being evaluated and treated in our OBL for PAD are significantly lower than your typical hospital outpatient setting. This is, of course, the payers and society benefits from this, but in many cases, the patient also benefits in the form of significantly lower uh, co-pays. So hospitals, OBLs, they definitely have their place in the healthcare, in the healthcare system. Hospitals do a very valuable service. We strongly feel that for non-urgent, not high-risk PAD, which is most of PAD evaluation and treatment, the OBL setting such as ours is, is superior for the three reasons I enumerated.